Hello, my friends. Welcome to card number four. This is day four of my Christmas Friends class to go. There are uh, multiple options, multiple um, ordering levels that you can get to earn this class completely free. All you need to do is place a um, order in my online store of at least $50 or more, and you're going to get the class completely free. Um, there are extra perks for orders of over $100 and $150. Um, but this fun class to go can be yours free simply with an order in my online store. This is the bundle that we're using. This is the Christmas Friends bundle. It is new in our mini catalog, which I am just loving. And um, I hope you guys are loving it too, but you will need the bundle. The um, Your card kit will not come pre-stamped, so you will need the bundle. You will need um, the inks and the stamp and blends to complete your cards. Um, anything that needs to be die cut with the bundle, um, you'll need to do. I will provide the card stock in your kits, but you will be um, doing all of that die cutting on your own. So make sure to add this bundle to your online order when you're shopping in my online store. This is the card we are making today, but real quick, let's just do a quick review. We made this card on Monday with the moose. Happy holidays. So adorable. We made this little, um, I will be thinking of you this season. Adorable. Again, I just, I love this card so much. Um, and then yesterday we made this one with the polar bear, probably my favorite of the, the four images. I just adore this little polar bear. And then today we're going to make this sweet little card with the mouse. And this is another fun fold. Yesterday we did a fun fold and this one is a fun fold too. So this is a pretty simple fun fold, but I'm excited to share it with you. So I'm going to put these aside and we are going to jump into today's card. Now, like all of the other, um, cards I've done, my pre-stamping for my images is already done and die cut. Your kit will include two half sheets of basic white for you to do your stamping and die cutting of any pieces of basic white. Um, the um, card kit itself will include the base, the pieces of your basic white. So these um, basic white pieces are for the elements on your card. So don't do any stamping or die cutting with these pieces because these are pre-cut for your card pieces. Um, your kit will also come embossed with some embossed pieces. This time we're using the So Swirly embossing folder. So we're using three different embossing folders in this kit, which is very fun. I, I love using embossing folders for texture. So we're going to get back to our actual card kit in just a minute when we start assembling. But let's start with our coloring. And um, I'm going to zoom in for that just a little bit. Oops be too much. There we go. I'm going to move this card off to the side. So I have a, um, I stamped one of the trees and the mouse in black memento. And so we're going to do the coloring. The tree we're going to color exactly the same as we colored in the um, polar bear card. So just straight up the, the trunk with some dark crumb cake. And then I'm going to grab um, some dark shy shamrock and just color in the little branches. This is just real quick coloring. Um, just doing a quick little wash. This little tree is, is small and messy and cute. So, um, so your coloring doesn't have to be exact and perfect. I'm really, um, I'm not even going all the way to the ends. Just doing a quick little um, wash of color on that. All right, so that's our little tree. Now let's do our little mouse. So I'm gonna start with my um, pretty and pink for the ears. I'm just gonna use my dark. And I'm just going to, where all of that shading is from the artist, all those little those little hash mark lines. That's where I'm going to add my, my pink for his ears. And while we have our pink out, I'm just going to color this little bow on the bell on his tail. No shading on that. Those spaces are very small, so we don't need to do any shading on those. Um, okay, let's go back to the bell though. I'm going to use my um, dark peach pie. And again, this is a pretty small little bell, so I'm not going to worry about shading on this, but if you wanted to, you could absolutely do a little bit of shading, but otherwise I'm just going to just color in that little bell. Okay. Um, oh, one more spot for the nose, that dark, um, that dark, pretty and pink, just a little tap on the nose. All right. Um, I'm going to pull out my shy shamrock for the little book. You can also use, um, Summer Splash. I'm trying to figure out which was the dark, which was the light. Um, so I'm going to start with the dark, and I'm just going to make the bottom of the book darker. And I think I might have actually used um, Summer Splash for my book, but um, Shy Shamrock and Summer Splash, you can use either one. And I have the Shy Shamrock out, so that's what we're going to do. So I put dark on the very bottom of the book, and then on the top, I'm just going to just blend that out to the light. And that will be our little Shy Shamrock music book. All right, now to finish our mouse, we're just going to use some smoky slate. 
So I'm going to use the dark. I'm going to start with the dark because he's a pretty um, small image. And so I don't want to do a whole lot of blending and add a whole lot of ink to him because he might end up um, blending out. Oh, that's a different tip. So with my bullet tip, I'm just going to add the dark to, again, I'm using the cues from the artist, just kind of around the, the um, body here. I'm just going to do the whole tail in dark and the bottom of his little paw, behind the book, under his chin, around his ears, pretty much. I'm just following the artist cues wherever there's dark, that's where I'm going to, or wherever there's little marks, that's where I'm gonna add my dark. So just went around him. And then I'll go in with my, with my light smoky slate, color in his feet, and then we'll just kind of blend these lines out. I'm gonna leave, um, I'm not gonna color him in completely, I'm going to leave especially a little bit on his um, his belly here and his back. I'm just going to leave a little bit of white space. And on his face, we're just going to leave a tiny bit of white space. And we'll fill all that in with our um, color lifter in just a second. So um, when you're stamping your kit, I would actually recommend coloring before you die cut. Um, especially with this little mouse. He's kind of small and there's not a lot to hold on to. So, so do your coloring before you're die cutting. All right, so that looks good. And I'm just gonna bring in my color lifter. I'm gonna use my brush tip on my color lifter and then we'll just kind of smooth out those, those edges and just kind of blend it out a little bit. And that's gonna give him just the, the little look that he's not completely gray. He's got lots of nice shading to him. All right, so that's it. That's our cute little mouse and tree all colored, ready to go. So let's move those off to the side. Zoom out a little bit, perfect. Um, Let's talk about the pieces and well, no, let's do, no, let's talk about the pieces in our kit. Um, so we're, we have a fun fold cardstock here. So you have two peaches of peach pie cardstock, which will make up your card base, which we'll go over in a second. And then you have those embossed pieces of smoky slate, which will go on those pieces. So we'll set those aside for now. You have three pieces of basic white and you, two of the, two of them are the same size. One is going to go on the outside of the, of the card here and then one's gonna go on the inside. So again, don't do your stamping on these. If you wanna stamp some details or something, you absolutely could. And then you have a smaller piece of white here. And so we're actually going, going to tear this one and I'm gonna tear it um, not quite in half, a little bit less than half. We're doing a lot of tearing in this kit. <laughs> um, we want one piece to be taller than the other because we're gonna layer them up like this um, to look again like little snow drifts. And so you just want one to be a little bit shorter, one a little bit taller. The shorter one is the one we're going to stamp our greeting on. So I'm going to pull this one aside and we're going to pull out our peach pie ink and we're going to do our stamping on this. So ink that up and I'm just going to do happy holidays. Just do that right along the bottom there. Perfect. And if you want to do any other stamping inside the card, you could. All right, let's get these pieces assembled. So I'm just going to take one of those bigger pieces of white and we're going to put dimensionals on the back of both of these little snow drifts. Where if I can find my, here they are. So we're going to put, I'm going to put two just on the back of each one, one on each side, peel off all those backings. And we'll start with the bigger one. Let's move these out of the way. We'll start with our bigger one, just line that up against the bottom. You don't have to pop these up on dimensionals. If you want to just adhere them flat, you absolutely could do that too. I'm going to do this one right along the bottom as well. So everything is flush against the bottom, but you have that really fun little snow drift look. All right, we are going to adhere our tree. We're going to adhere that flat. So I'm just going to use some liquid glue for that just so I can kind of position it into the right place. And it's going to be tucked behind the little snow drift. And from card number three, do you remember we have a um, little peach pie star, glimmer star that we have already die cut. We're gonna stick that on the top of our tree. Just like that. Our little mouse, he's gonna go on with dimensionals. I'm gonna grab a couple for him. All right, pull those off. And we're just gonna tuck him right, kind of right along the, the snow drift right here. Now in your kit, you're going to receive a small piece of black cardstock, and this is for the little music notes dies in the, in the die sets. So you're going to die cut them yourself. I 
die cut mine on adhesive sheets. And I would, if you have adhesive sheets, I would definitely recommend you using adhesive sheets as well. Um, it's, these are very, very tiny and it will make a very, um, it will make your life very much better. <laughs> it will make it much easier to adhere these down to adhesive sheets. You just peel off the backing and then you just stick them down. So we're just going to stick these little music notes down. They are so adorable and they add, um, a lot. They're very cute. They add a lot to the, um, to the card, but they are very tiny. It almost, I think, could have been a stamp, but but with a stamp, um, you don't get as many options, I think. So I'm just gonna stick these on. I have one more to go to peel off. I'm using my um, take your pick tool just to try to get the backing off of these. They do come off very easily, but it's just because that this is such a small little little piece but this is the most finicky part of the whole kit I think there we go so we're just gonna give him some some little music notes and I like to take my bone folder and just give those a good press just to make sure that they are nice and adhered down all right so that is gonna be the front of our card that's all built up and this one's gonna go on the inside so let's put these aside and let's um bring back our card bases. I'm going to bring back my um, bone folder. So you have the, the card base here. This one is eight and a half by four and a quarter and it's scored at five and a half. So it's almost a full um, half sheet of cardstock, but we've just cut off a little piece up here. Um, and then you have another piece that is eight and a half by three. And this one is scored in half at four and a quarter. And so this is going to make kind of like the little mini card on our card. So Let's go back to this one though, because we have some smoky slate embossed pieces to put on. This is the So Swirly embossing folder. I thought it looked like little snow drifts. I thought it was very cute. We don't get a ton of snow in Albuquerque, where I am in New Mexico, but um, I've sure used a lot of little snow drifts in all of these cards. <laughs> so wherever these little animals are, they are somewhere where it is very snowy. All right, and so these pieces are just going to go right onto the front of this bigger peach pie piece. So you have this one on the back, and then you have this one on the front. Our little um, half piece or piece of peach pie. We're going to put adhesive on one side of this. It doesn't matter which is the front, which is the back. We're going to adhere this down, and I am just going to kind of I'm going to hold it up like this so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm sliding this piece between. The, the cards on here and then before I adhere it down I'm just going to kind of line it up center it where exactly where I want it and once I'm happy with everything being nice and straight I'm just looking for that same border on the left right and top here I'm just gonna go ahead and push that all down and this should open just like that so kind of like a flip flap all right these pieces this one's gonna go on the inside for you to do your writing or whatever you want. Your greeting, if you wanna stamp another cute little image, that is, you can do that here. You can also add a gift card in here. You can make a little pocket and just slip a gift card in here if you're giving this away as a gift card. Um, and then this piece, our piece that is decorated, our little mouse piece, this is just gonna go right on the very front. And you're just gonna get that same little border around the edges there. All right, and finishing touch, we need our, our little shimmer gems. We're gonna use the peach pie ones this time. I'm gonna do one here, one here, oh, one here, and one up here, just like that. Perfect, and that completes card number four. So what do you guys think? Do you guys have a favorite of the cards? This was card number four. Um, yesterday we made this one, card number three. Um, this was card number two on Tuesday and card number one on Monday. So you guys will have to let me know if you have a favorite. I've really loved doing this class to go with you guys. Remember you have until September 15th to place an order in my online store to earn this class kit for free. Um, 
all orders over $50 with that host code will earn the class kit. If your order is over $100 or $150, you're going to get some extra bonuses in that kit as well. Um, September 16th, I will be back with a brand new class to go. So I hope you guys join me for that. Until then, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. That really helps my business grow and I really appreciate it. If you have any questions on this class to go or anything else, please let me know. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.